qualifying race number two. Out on the track right now. And top four transferring out of this one, 12 laps. Behind that beautiful stuff, Ford Pace vehicle. Field's gonna line up like this, out of Gleason. That's Justin Mondike, 44. Last year's Thunder Super Bowl Series most improved driver to his outside. The Schumanator, Rich Schumann Jr. out of Portage, Wisconsin, 54. Thunder rookie contender. Last year's Thunder Super Bowl Series runner-up, John Beal in the five. On the inside of that second row, he'll be alongside the double zero from Nielsville. That's Derek Gress. Couple of warm-up laps coming up now. Slow the field back down. We'll put it back in a side-by-side -side formation for this second qualifying heat for the Tundra Super Liminal Series, powered by Wisconsin Potatoes. Row number three on the inside. The rookie contender out of Waterford, Wisconsin. The 20 is Derek Dorr. He is outside from Rockford, Illinois. The driver of the 40, that is Kurt Tillman. One to go at the line this time. Inside, row on number four, the 32 out of Portage, Wisconsin. That's Steve Litchfield to his outside. The 25 from Amherst is Wyatt Brooks. Final row inside, the 97 from Norway, Michigan. It's Robbie Iverson alongside the 38 of Jordan Devoy from Delavan. Top four is where you want to be when that checkered flag flies in this one. Mondike and Schumann to the line, and we are green. Schumann, with a little bit of a jump that time, we'll try that one again. Kind of like we were seeing in the top packs, you can't make all of that pass before the line, so we'll try it again. Opening night jitters for a lot of these drivers, their first race of the 2019 season. A little bit of a slip off of the fourth turn, and we're great. Well, this time it's going to go as Schumann gets away on the outside. Mondike will settle into the second spot. Top four starting to separate themselves a bit. It will be Gress in third. It'll be Beal in fourth. Maybe not for long, though. Beal to the inside of Gress. He'll file into the fourth and final transfer spot. The guy you're going to want to watch out for right now is Wyatt Brooks in that 25. Had some trouble. They fixed the car up. Didn't get the qualifying lap he was looking for, but that 25 has been swift. Brooks to the inside of Tillman. Trying to take off. There he goes. Wyatt Brooks now to fifth. The first car on the outside looking in. And he will try to track down Derek Gress for that final transfer position. Oh, Mondike up 
the track a bit that time in one and two. That's allowing Schumann to get away a bit and also allows Sean Beal to close in. Jordy DeVoe making some moves a little bit for the back of the field as the 38 goes down to the inside of Tillman and swipes the spot. Bondike sliding up the track just a little bit. Beal takes a peek, decides just to hang back now. He knows he's in a transfer spot. Doesn't want to make a move here yet, or does he? To the inside of Monday down the front stretch. Monday trying to hold on to the 44, but here comes Sean Beal. Pulling even with Monday. Monday says that's fine. I've still got a transfer spot. He'll file back in a third, but look out because Wyatt Brooks is catching the top four. Brooks right on the tail end of the double zero of a Derek Gress. As we have gone past the halfway point here in qualifying race number two. Brooks again, chopping away at the disadvantage. Right to the back, but Brooks Gress on the floor. Brooks may be just biding his time right now in that 25 as he continues to look at the bumper cover of Derek Gress through three and four, just waiting to see his opportunity. It's Mondike running third, a fourth spot to Gress, and then the fifth spot belongs to Wyatt Brooks. Jordan Devoy trying to catch up to Derek Door as they roll through three and four. All Rich Schumann you knew this one. But you see Beal starting to close in on him a little bit. I don't know that he's going to have enough time with just two laps remaining in this one. If Wyatt Brooks is going to make his move, he better do it soon. Bondag sliding up a little bit again. Grass right there, ready to pounce. He's feeling the heat from Brooks. Here comes Jordan Devoy down to the inside of the Eric Doors. They roll into three and four to try to take that sixth spot away. White flag is out. Where'd they go? Brooks with one final opportunity as he gets to the back side of Derek Gress. Can't quite make the move. We'll see if he tries it again. Diving down into three and four. Gress will shut the door way right on the nose of the 25. Will Brooks have another opportunity? Doesn't look like it. Gress will hold on. Brooks certainly made that one interesting. He will have another chance in the last chance race. But Derek Gress races his way into the Girls West 50. Justin Bondike finishing third will race as well. Second spot goes to John Beal and your winner of qualifying race number two. Tundra Super Late Model Series rookie contender out of Portage. Spots are by. Portage Plastic Corporation, Riley's Bar and Grill, Sun City Home Inspection, House to Home Realty, Schmidt Insurance, Brewster Lake, Jimmy John Subs, Lot to Take a Mexican Restaurant, and Dell's Limo King. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Schumacher. Rich Schumann Jr. with the